Hey, this is Victoria and this is my fourth video for the New Year's Resolution Project. I decided to record inside today because there are lots of squirrels on our patio and the dogs were going crazy and it was getting too loud. Um, so while I'm inside, I'm going to try to answer two questions that were posed to us by the project leaders and those are, is your resolution influenced by your religious or spiritual beliefs or values? And if it is, how so? And then how does your resolution fit into your personal worldview? Um, for me personally, I don't consider myself a very religious person. I do believe in God. I consider myself a Christian. I was raised in the Catholic Church, so that's the, I guess, religion that I'm most familiar and comfortable with. Um, but I don't go to church as often as my grandparents and parents probably would like me to. But that doesn't stop me from having daily conversations with God and um, daily prayers and daily giving of thanks. Being outside is uh, usually, going outside is usually the place where I do the most of my praying and giving thanks and talking with God just because my mind tends to slow down when I'm outside and I'm able to focus on what's around me. Um, and when I'm inside, I'm usually stressing out about something that I have to do next or worrying about the next task at hand or doing work or studying. Um, so just getting outside allows me to feel a little more free. And the the moment that I really, really restored my my faith and I kind of understood the concept of a God was actually during a geology class when I was a freshman or sophomore. I had gone home and took a class at a community college for credit and I learned about the rock cycles and earthquakes and what they do to the pressure on the earth and how they happen and why things form and the geology of the area in El Paso. And I drug one of um, a guy that I was dating at the time, I drug him on a hike with me and we hiked up the Franklin Mountains and I was able to actually see some of the geology and the rocks and minerals that my professor had been talking about. So that was when I realized that everything around us had to have been created by someone greater than us because everything fits too perfectly, everything works too perfectly. Um, and then I, you know, when I was back at UNT, I took a biology class with my major professor and we learned about the digestive system. And I know this sounds really weird, but learning about the digestive system in the human body and how our body takes care of itself, even though we sometimes put it through some really harsh situations, I just knew that there had to be a God. There's no way that there couldn't be a God. So I guess getting outside is a way for me to continue practicing my faith and having conversations with God. Um, as far as the other question, how does the resolution fit into my personal worldview? Um, I don't really know how to answer that. I, my view is that we are dependent on the environment and the environment will persist without us. So we are truly the ones who need the environment to survive. We need the air, we need the water, we need the plants, we need the animals. So by getting outside and understanding and enjoying and learning about the outdoors, not only are you having fun, you are, you know, making memories, you're also learning about the things that we depend on for survival. So I think getting outside is um, essential. It's not just something that we should do once in a while. I think it's critical for our survival and for our understanding, especially for kids. Kids need to know about the outdoors because now kids don't even know where food comes from. They think that lettuce and vegetables come from a supermarket. They have no idea that the beef that they're eating, they don't connect it to an actual cow in a pasture. So I've been fortunate enough to experience that. So I think that it's definitely necessary for others. Um, and as far, another thing that the outdoors has done for me, it actually has strengthened my relationship with my um, now fiance. He and I, when we first started dating, our first kind of trip together was to go kayaking on the Frio River. And ever since then, we've strengthened our communication because I am pretty tough to get along with at times. I'm really stubborn. 
and so is he. And so we've learned to work through issues while being outside because we have to depend on each other. Um, we have to communicate so that things don't go wrong. We have to learn to plan together and organize and prepare. Um, and then it's just fun. We've just gone outside together. I've learned a lot about him. He's definitely learned a lot about me. Um, and it's just become something that we want to incorporate into our everyday lives. So it's definitely helped my relationship and I look forward to many, many more trips outside um, with Russell. And uh, yeah, as far as the outdoors, I think it's just good for everyone. It doesn't have to be a trip to Big Bend or a trip to Yellowstone. It can be going outside to jog at the park or read or jump rope, whatever you want to do outside. Um, I think the outside is good for everyone. So thank you guys and I'll see you outside.